Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, Monday through Thursday, for my Cancers. How are you, my Cancers? Now, you know I am using my two Radley Valentine decks for the main message. This one, my, my Archangel Power Tarot cards will be my main message. I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson crystal cards, crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power. Whatever the message is, my job, just deliver it. Um, I did, again, please, if you haven't, go to Capricorn Overview. It's really, really strong. It talks about what's happening, the energies this week. There's a lot of air energy. And also on the 21st, there is going to be something that is being, that is being called the Bethlehem Star. So take a look at that, please. Now, we have three. Oh, we actually had, okay, we had, these are the three that, I don't know, were these the three that came down and I just picked that one? I don't know. But we had three that popped. These three are reversed, so strong, strong energy. Let's see what we have for my Cancers. And let's move my stuff. Here we go. First card is now, and I will tell you, my, you know, things are heating up a little bit for you. But that's good. That's good because you are a water sign. And when things heat up, think about water. When you start boiling, oh, watch out everyone else. First card is... The Queen of Ariel. Now, I love this card. Ariel is Earth energy. It is Capricorn. We're now in Capricorn season. It is Taurus. It is Virgo. Something that you can touch, solid, or, you know, something, someone you can touch. Solid energy. A lot of times this has to do with money, money or your home, money or how you receive money. So this is about, you know, this is stepping into abundance. A lot of times I feel very much Virgo energy with this, too. So there could be a Virgo that brings you a new job, a new a new home. Um, you know, so there could be, you know, but again, I feel like this is you stepping into an abundance. This is you stepping into possibly that new home, possibly hearing travel type of news into your new home. So I do feel very much this home type of energy here. But in order for you to get to this home energy, there has to be other things put into place for you. So, you know, there has to be the money to, so that you can do the do this. And this is what I feel like you're going to hear news about this week. Okay? Okay. So the queen, now remember, queens, the underlying emotion is water, your energy, um, you know, and then the earth energy. So the queen, not only, the queen is, is um, you know, emotional. The queen is committed. The queen stands in her power, but she's also an extremely practical person. And she's also somebody who loves the queen of Ariel. She loves pretty things about her, okay? So she's not going to move into a home that's going to be a step down. She's going to move into that home that steps up. Now, is this your home? It could be, it could be your job also, but this is like a step up. This steps you up, okay? Mature, practical, generous, happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. Okay, now. Okay, I'm feeling like squishy here. Here we go. Now, these cards are the ones I think that fell out. They're all reversed. First card is the Five of Gabriel. Now, fives have that change energy. Yep, change, positive, negative. We don't know about it. Gabriel is our Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined type of energy. So it's all, you know, it's kind of like, okay, but again, this is as the, as they turn the heat up on to, you know, underneath the, um, you know, underneath cancer, you go, you, you start, you start like, you know, you start, you know, bubbling, you start boiling, you start getting down to business. And this is about getting down to business. And this is also saying there's nothing that they can throw at you, whoever they be, they can throw at you that you can't resolve or handle, okay? And that Queen of Ariel does also bring that royalty and that determination also, okay? So you, it's kind of like, 
Now, don't, I don't even care what you're, you're throwing at me. I can handle it all. I feel like I, I'm seeing you kind of with a baseball bat. Maybe it's a cricket bat. I don't know what cricket's like. But it's, it's kind of like a flatter bat. So, yeah, I'm going to go with cricket. Is that cricket? Anyway, I know you'll tell me in the comments. But anyway, it's like whatever they fling at you, you're just like, you're just like batting it away. You're batting it away. Anyway. A challenge you can re you can resolve, withdraw from the drama of others. So whoever they be, let them. <laughs> Have patience with yourself and those around you. Okay. Your next card reversed. Here we are. The three of Gabriel. This is again that fire energy. This is you come, you know, like your ship coming in, going back to that queen of Ariel, whatever they're trying to you know, whoever's trying to create some of this drama around you, you're like, you know, again, that cricket, is it a cricket? I don't know, it's a flatter bat, and it's like you're, you're batting them away. Um, you know, you're just not, you're just like, you're just a nuisance to me. And this is your ship coming in. This is prosperity coming in. This is you seeing the, you know, the light at that end of the tunnel. And you just need to just put it out there, especially during this time with this Aquarius and Jupiter and all that good stuff going on verbalize it throw it out into that world okay into that universe anyway prosperity arises from arising from wise planning time to take the next step optimistic plans that turn out as expected your last card here reversed seven of Raphael. i love this because you know sevens to me have that really divine energy that energy that you know that it's like you do your work, you do, you know, you, you keep moving forward. We can't stop. We can't stagnate. Okay, we have to always be moving forward because that's how time goes for us. You know, time keeps moving forward. We can't be the one that lives in the in that past. So sevens have this divine umbrella, this divine kind of like little push at your back, but gentle, but gentle. Raphael is water energy, your energy, Scorpio, Pisces energy, fluid, emotional, and this is kind of like We've gotten you this, you know, the situation, the pieces are being put into place, my cancers. You're getting revved up. The, you know, the heat might be going up, but you're getting ready for these changes. And now it's, it, it, the, the, the decision time is coming. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want. And remember, put that out into the universe, what it is, and be clear on what it is. And take action, a need for detoxification, because whatever it is, or whoever, whoever they be, whoever they be, they were really, they were downers, they were downers. Anyway, let's go on, and we're going to pull, so this, I love this for you, there's this practical advice, there's that Virgo energy there too, um, you know, Virgos are, it's like, you know, Virgos kind of look and say, okay, this is what needs to be done, you, so this is like you can clearly see what needs to be done. You're not, you know, you've got your cricket bat or whatever that is. And you're just, you know, you're just kind of like, nah, 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 nah. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Ship comes in, making some decisions here. Let's go on here. Here we go. Three of Earth. Now, Earth is aerial energy. We talk about this. So there, you know, this is also about creative solutions, thinking outside the box. This is kind of, you know, again, it, it's again, you know, using your bat to get rid of the, the, the muck. Um, you know, things are boiling. Now, boiling could create anger, but boiling also heats things up so that it can create major, major changes. But the three of Earth brings a lot of different ways of thinking about it, a lot of creativity, and I do feel that it's also like kind of like the universe. Um, you know, we had the seven of Raphael, kind of that universal type of energy, you know, with the, with the umbrella. It's like opening those ways for you, opening your eyes so that you can actually see those different ways. Okay? Okay. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. Now, Let's go on and see what, if, what, well, what crystal element might be helpful for my cancers this week. And if you have it, carry it with you. Many, I, I, I don't have a lot of these either, so 
I have a, well, I have some, but okay, let's go on. This one is reversed. Moonstone. I love Moonstone. You're the moon baby. You're the moon child. If you don't have this, you, I would say this. I don't want to, you know, if it's, and this is not, I don't think this is an expensive stone, but my cancers, you are the moon baby. I would look into Moonstone, okay? So, female fertility, calming emotions, attracting new love, growth. So, really some, some, mo some changes are happening. Now, it's interesting we didn't get any air energy, but we did get a lot of that practical energy, and we did get that push forward type of energy too. So, I'm okay with all of this for you. Anyway, <sighs> this is good. This is good. That Virgo energy will keep you organized. And I don't know if that's a Virgo per se, but he, she will keep you on track because there's that Virgo energy that's kind of like, this is your assignment for the day. Did you get your assignment? Oh, no, Virgo's going to ask me. Virgo's going to ask me. I have to get it done. But it works. It works, and it helps you. Anyway, my cancers, if you enjoy my readings, remember the button, like, share, subscribe, do all the stuff. It's good. It helps. But more importantly, my cancers, as always, Know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.